Hey guys, what is up? This is Handsome KD3, and today I'm bringing you guys a Spaz 12 Moab on the map Bootleg. This is some ground war domination, and on the Spaz I have the damage proficiency and the gold camo. And in this gameplay, I'm going to be using the specialist, and my uh, my specialist perks are extreme conditioning, quick draw, and steady aim. And then my perks on my normal class are slide of hand assassin and uh, dead silence. So, um, yeah, this is some bootleg, like I said, and I was really quite surprised when I got a Moab because, first of all, the Spaz 12 hasn't been a very good weapon for me. You know, you guys are probably wondering, wow, he has gold on it, but that's because I uh, still have that double weapon XP glitch that I did a long time ago, so, uh, I never got reset for that. So, uh, you know, I rank up weapons really, really fast. But I was just really quite surprised because I've never really done really well with this weapon. It's kind of, like, you know, really inconsistent for me. And also, I did it on Bootleg, and Bootleg is not one of my favorite maps. But uh, in this uh, commentary, I wanted to kind of give you guys some tips, I guess, when using the spas, and also, I guess, you know, how to play with it, and, you know, how to play Bootleg. Because, you know, I'm not a big fan of this map, like I said. I seem to do really, really inconsistent on it, just because of the fact that spawns switch really, really fast, and the map's just kind of not balanced very well, at least I don't think it is. But definitely when I'm playing this map, I like to always let them have B. A lot of people would disagree with me because, you know, you think that letting them have B would, yeah, you know, you'd be getting spawn trapped. But you need to have A and C. Because what happens is, when you have A and C, you probably can control this middle part that I'm in right now. And they're going to keep on spawning back and forth on each side of the B, on the other side of the map. And this, to me, it just seems it's a lot more controllable when, uh, you know, running the spas because... This weapon isn't a weapon that you can shoot long range with. And, you know, I like to, uh, you know, try to get into their spawn. I'm in their spawn most of this gameplay. This isn't that fast of a Moab. It's only four minutes or something, but nevertheless, it's still a Spaz 12 Moab. And I wasn't really expecting to get this gameplay. I was just trying it out because some people were getting a lot of good games with it. And, you know, some people said try it out, so I popped it on and happened to do pretty well with it. And I got off topic there pretty fast, but... You know, just you want to make sure that, you know, if you're going to play with this weapon, you need to, you know, make sure that you get up close range on people. You don't want to be staying back because, you know, you're going to get in that position to where somebody's shooting at you long range. You're going to have no chance to kill them because, like I said, this weapon is not good at anything, probably, you know, 20, 30 feet. So you want to make sure and keep your uh, gun battles really, really close range and make sure that you don't get, you know, too far away from somebody because I kind of look at it this way. Once you get that first hit marker, it's basically over for you. Because what, what's going to happen is you're going to get a hit marker and they're going to turn and shoot you with a submachine gun or an assault rifle. And uh, since this gun isn't, you know, a double tap, you can't shoot it twice really fast. You're most likely going to lose the battle. And, uh, you know, as you guys are going to see in this gameplay, I don't really get a lot of hit markers. It just seems that I was doing really well. My connection was doing okay. And I had damage on, so, you know, I was getting a lot of one-shot one hits, and I think that's just the key when you're using this. You want to make sure that whenever you take that first shot, that they're close to you and you're not going to miss. And that's another thing. This gun kind of has a consistency to want to miss shots, so you want to make sure that, you know, you don't miss that first shot. Because if you do, you might as well, you know, say goodbye to uh, winning that gunfight because that guy with that assault rifle is just going to, you know, bomb you with it. But, uh... Yeah, guys, just, uh, this um, gameplay's already wrapping up to an end here pretty pretty fast. This was, you know, an okay Moab. Wasn't my best, wasn't my worst. But I've been struggling to get a shotgun Moab, and I was pretty happy when I got this. I actually got this last night. And, you know, if you guys are, uh, you know, looking to use this gun, you're going to definitely need damage on it. Just because of the fact that, you know, you're, you're not going to be, you know, losing a lot of gunfights, like, hit marked, like, due to hit markers. So make sure you guys are going to use this weapon, always have damage on it. You know, you guys are probably going to struggle to get the damage. It took me a while, even with the uh, double weapon XP. But once you get that damage, uh, it's pretty good. And, you know, once you have special assault and get all the proficiencies, you're like a kind of like a tank. But yeah, guys, uh, this gameplay and commentary is wrapping up to it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys would, uh, drop a like and uh, drop a comment if you guys enjoyed. And that's basically it. So this is Handsome Kyrie 3 and I will see you guys later.